Hello, everyone. Good morning. And welcome to DTU PES Summer School 2025. It's, it's really nice to see you here. Hope you are already enjoying uh, Danish weather. It's a bit unfortunate that it was rainy yesterday, but I, I hope that it will be more sunny days. There will be more sunny days in the coming week. Good, my name is Jalal Kazampur. I'm a professor at DTU Wind. Uh, and yeah, Alessia asked me to provide, uh, to give an introduction to this summer school on future power systems leveraging advanced optimization, data sharing, and AI for market design and operation. Long title. Good. Uh, first, I would like to tell you where you are uh, and where we are working at ETU. So it will be a bit, a few slides about us. So at the moment, you are at DTU Wind and Energy Systems, one of the 20 departments of DTU, Technical University of Denmark. So. We work here in this department on a sustainable future. So what we do here is how we can uh, produce wind power and then how to smartly use it in the grid. That's, that's the main job we have it, in, in this department. So in our department, our mission is to develop science and create value for society for a sustainable and integrated energy system with wind energy as the backbone. And our vision is that is to lead, uh, is to be a leading university partner in our field for a world that runs entirely, hopefully, on renewable energy. So a bit about our department. So we have it's it's a quite big department with 451 staff members. That's why we have a bit complex organization. Uh, framework, I would say. 60% of our department, I mean, of the 451, they are researchers, 20 professors, 107 PhDs. In terms of diversity, I'm not sure we are good, 26 women, and we are from uh, 48 countries, nationalities. Well, we have uh, four divisions, wind energy materials and components, wind turbine design, power and energy systems, and wind energy systems. I can tell a bit about what each division does. So the first one, wind energy materials and components, they are mostly working on materials needed to build wind turbines. So our colleagues in that division, they are mostly material and mechanic engineers. Then the second, uh, uh, division wind turbine design, they work on how to build a single wind turbine. So how we can assemble, how we can design different parts of a single wind turbine, different technologies. Then I jump to the last one, wind energy systems. Our colleagues in that division work on how we can put different wind turbines together, how to do layout optimization to build a proper optimal wind farm. So it's still behind the meter. And the one in, uh, in red, which is the division, Les CII and all of us, we are, I mean, from DTU, we are from there. I mean, the organizers of this uh, event. We are with power and energy systems division. And now we go into grid. And we optimize grid, we optimize uh, power uh, uh, schedule, the schedule of generators, and so forth. Hi, Paul. Good, a bit more about our structure, our department's organization, and that's the last slide you will see about our department. So we have four divisions that I mentioned on top, also including the administration and business support, and then we have 20 sections, so several sections under each division, and under power, energy, power and energy systems, there are two sections that they are hosting you. It's energy markets and analytics, in short, EMA. So, Lesia, Lisio, and myself, we are the three, and Fazan. We are, we are the faculty members in that section. 
And then power systems, our neighboring section, that experience is, is there. So just for you to know who are hosting you. Uh, about our facilities, you will see some of our facilities. There will be a, uh, a, a, a lab visit on Wednesday. So a part of our facilities are at this campus, Lumbu campus. But the majority of our facilities, they are located in our, in our other campus in Gezo, and you will have a chance to be there on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, you will see a part of our uh, labs there. So we have EV labs, we have, uh, for example, this one, you will see it on Wednesday, uh, SUSLAB or SISLAB. So it's kind of a microgrid but connected to the power system, to the grid, including uh, power grid, heat grid, uh, and a small uh, uh, gas grid in the campus. You will see that on Wednesday. You will not have a chance to see this because it's far from Copenhagen. It's in the other island of Denmark, but also we have a test center in uh, Austeril. And I would like to show you what kind, also we have test centers there. And I would like to show you this wind turbine that we recently installed there. It's, I would say, the latest technology of wind turbine with 21.5 uh, megawatt of installed capacity. It's huge. And it's one of our partners, Imens Kameza, who developed and installed that for us. And we have a very close collaboration with wind turbine manufacturers here. And the credit of this picture goes to my colleague, Lena Kitzing, who shared that picture a few days ago on LinkedIn. Good. About summer school, I hope we will have a group photo like this on Wednesday. This is, uh, yeah, this is Giza campus that you will visit on Wednesday. Good. We started this initiative, this summer school, since 2016. And we, we organized that every year except the two years of pandemic. So you can see uh, different generations of PhD students and also people from industry attending summer school in different years. And whenever you see wind turbine, it, seem, it says that it's the other campus, it's a Rizzo, while the other ones, they are in this campus. And this is the picture from last year, 2024, and you can see diverse activities. So hopefully we will have similar activities this year as well. So be ready, you will have a very packed, intense week. I hope you will enjoy it, but I can tell you that when on Friday you're leaving, ah, you, you will realize that you did a lot of activities uh, over a week. Good, about statistics, I, I hope I counted correctly. So let's say you can correct me. So uh, we have 65 participants in this event from 20 countries. I hope I counted correctly. I hope you can find your affiliation, your country in the list. If not, I'm, my apologies. And 51 from academia, mostly PhD students, and 14 from industrial public sector including different system operators, a few startups, and uh, EU Commission. And that's a picture from yesterday. I hope you uh, noticed that. And still, I think there was a big discussion. Is it Green Island or Winter Island? I hope you, you didn't get confused. I think that you, that you did, right? You were also asking. About, yeah. But you managed. Okay, speakers. So we have a great uh, lineup for our speakers. Paul and Dick, they are already here, and you will hear their keynote talk uh, today. Uh, Natalia uh, from University Carlos Tres de Madrid, uh, she will present uh, her talk last day on Friday. She's not today, she's not here today. Jochen and Azaraksh. Jochen is from TU Delft, Azaraksh Malekian from the uh, University of Toronto. Uh, they will be also uh, talking. I think uh, Jochen will be tomorrow and Azaraksh will be on Wednesday when we visit the other campus. Uh, Bissam is here. Where are you, Bissam? Yes. She will be talking tomorrow morning. 
So Pisan is uh, from IV Business School and also affiliated with DTU. And then uh, four of us from DTU, we will run a workshop the whole day on Thursday, including Spiros, Lysio, Lesia, and myself. Good, maybe we can walk through a bit about the program just to make sure that everything is clear. So by the way, you can use this QR code to, to get the website and also to see all the program, posters, etc. So today, Monday, uh, after me, uh, we will have a keynote talk by Dick. Then there will be a lunch, and after lunch, it will be Paul, who will give uh, his keynote talk. And then at the end of the day, there will be a poster session in this, in the, in this corridor. Tomorrow uh, morning, there will be three hour session by Bisan, lunch. Oh, what about this uh, best poster? As, as you see, there are two best poster sessions on Tuesday and Thursday. What will happen today is that in the poster session, you will present, there will be a very nice voting system. You will vote to the best posters. Then based on your votes, the two top posters will be selected. And then uh, two of you who won the best poster award, you will have a chance to present orally your work for half an hour. One of you tomorrow, one of you uh, on Thursday. Then tomorrow afternoon, we will have a lecture by Jochen Kramer from TU Delft. So Monday and Tuesday, we are here in the same, in this classroom. But Wednesday, we are gonna go to the other campus, so please don't come here. If you come here, you will find no one here. There will be a bus, uh, the I mean, the, you, can, you can see where the bus will be waiting for you. And I can tell you that, take the bus, if not reach, I mean, getting to DTO Riza campus, you can do it by public transport, but you will have a journey to reach there. Then uh, in the Riza campus in the morning, we will have talk by uh, Azaraksh, and then a lunch, it will be, there will be a nice tent, and we will have a barbecue, that would be nice, vegetarian, by the way. And then we will have lab visit, in Rizzo campus, and then again there will be a bus to come back to the city, and we will have nice activities in Tivoli. Do you know where Tivoli is? Yeah, that's one of the, yeah, the top popular destinations or landmarks in Copenhagen. And uh, yeah, it will be nice social activities there. Uh, Thursday and Friday, again we will come here, so come here, don't go Rizzo campus. So Thursday, it will be DTU workshop, and Friday, in the morning, there will be a, a talk by Natalia, and afternoon, Lesia will run a summary. So we, us together, we will have uh, a summary of, of the summer school, and you will tell us what you learned. And then there will be a Friday part. That's a typical Danish thing. Is it clear? Do we have a good idea about the program? Fantastic. Good. So maybe you already realized that we have two scholarships uh, in the website. Excellent scholarship. Uh, it was uh, yeah, proposed to uh, uh, a very good uh, applicant from India. Uh, at the moment, she's uh, on leave, maternity leave, so she couldn't join. But we offered her to come next year. So next year, we will have two scholarship holders, one from this year. Am I correct? Yes. yes. So you will not have a chance to see her this year. About green scholarship, well, what's that? So we have a budget of 1,000 euro. So what you will do if you traveled, uh, if you think you managed to travel green or greener, uh, by end of June after the summer school, uh, you can write to us how much uh, carbon you managed to replace by coming uh, green. For example, you can say that, okay, I traveled by train. If I, if I would pick, uh, I don't know, take a flight, uh, by that I managed to save this kilogram of CO2. We don't have a very clear criteria yet. Also, we are still learning who is doing the best. Uh, and this 1,000 euro will not go only to one person. We will split that. 
but this time, it's, this event is the first time we are introducing this green scholarship. So we are going to learn how to, uh, what to f how to find a good uh, criteria for the winner. But please uh, consider applying to this green scholarship after the event. Uh, all the presentations will be available here in downloads even before starting the lecture. So you can already find presentations of Dick and Paul there. So during the lecture, you have access to presentations. Uh, if you are interested to get some uh, course credits, uh, you can get 2.5 ECTS if by end of August, you share with us a thorough summary of what you learned in the summer school. Eight to 10 pages, something like that. Not longer, not shorter. And uh, we will review that, and then we will provide you feedback and 2.5 ECTS. But also, in, in any way, you will also get a certificate of attendance, no matter if you provide this uh, summary report or not, right? But if you want credit, you have to provide uh, a certificate of attendance. Well, uh, you can find all the video recordings of previous summer school and also a few other events. And you will find the video recordings of this event in, in a few weeks from now in this, our YouTube channel. Um, and also we uploaded uh, the video lectures in our website, but here in this YouTube channel you can find more uh, video recordings. Good, and my last slide is for, is to say sincere thanks to our very nice organization team and also to our sponsor. So our leader who made the most effort is Lesia. Who is here, Lesia, would you like to stand up? And maybe we can say thanks. She made a lot of effort to make this happen, so thank you, Lesia. And then our organization team, Josefina, Yannick, Torine, Marco, Shobit, Ignasi, Petros, Ianis, Bastian, Andrea, Licio, Fazani team, they also did a great job helping Lesia to organize this event. Let's say also thank you to them. <laughs> and also our big thank you goes to Ati the French uh, TSO, system operator, who also sponsored us. And I suppose we have also a few colleagues from RT attending here. Are they here? Yes, you are there. And also, I think also your friend is coming. I mean, your colleague wrote me that also he has a late flight. So there will be two from RT, I guess. Fantastic. Thank you for sponsoring our event. And... That's, that's all. Thank you. Let's say, did I miss anything? <laughs> yes. The last thing I want to say is that uh, in this event, while you can learn hopefully new things, the other thing that you can do is to make connections and do networking. I can tell from uh, our last experience in the last, I mean, all summer school started 2016. Uh, many of, you know, colleagues, they met here and then, uh, yeah. They are PhD students from the same generation. And then I saw that in future events, they know each other, they talk to each other, even the, uh, they, they collaborated with each other. So please use this opportunity to get to know each other. Okay? Good. Thank you.